Okay, kids, it's time for books. So come up to Mama Dad and let's rock and read. Today, I'll be reading you magical Christmas stories. And the story I'll be reading you today is called Grandpa's Christmas Day. And this is how it goes. There is a grandpa here who, who would like a skateboard, laughs Santa Claus as he opens the Christmas mail. There are all sorts of grandpas. Some tell jokes, some smoke pipes or eat toffees or do crossword puzzles. Lots of them go to sleep and snore all afternoon. But this grandpa is different. He doesn't want to be an old fashioned grown up grandpa. He hasn't asked for anything sensible, like a pair of slippers or a handkerchief. Santa Claus tells the reindeer, he would like a bright orange jacket and a skateboard. Santa Claus is very surprised, but he tells the elves, I shall be very happy to help. Off I go, says, oh, sorry. On Christmas Eve, Grandpa joins his grandchildren and hangs, hangs up his stocking too. When Santa Claus arrives with the presents, he laughs and tells Randy, he looks just like me. The next morning, Grandpa is thrilled to see that his stocking is bulging with toffees and books, a blue bubble hat and scarf, the shiny orange jacket he wanted and a wonderful purple and purple and silver skateboard. I go, says Grandpa, as the grandchildren stare in amazement and run out into the street to watch. I've been longing to try one of those scraper board thingamajiggies. Grandpa tells them all, grinning from ear to ear. Luckily, as it is Christmas Day, there are not too many cars around, as Grandpa wobbles about and crashes into the icicles on the hedge and falls off. But soon, he has the hang of it. He has a wonderful Christmas morning when you are very grown up. It's easy to forget how exciting it feels to swish along with the wind whistling past your ears because you haven't done that sort of thing for a while. And remember kids, remind mum and dad to subscribe so you can see all my books. Soon grandpa is feeling tired and hungry so he races home to join the family for lunch. He sits down to read one of his new books and in no time at all, he falls fast asleep. He looks like an ordinary grandpa now, says his grandchildren. But they know he isn't really. And that is it for Grandpa's Christmas Day. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Merry Christmas!